freshwater fishing. <laughs> have you ever been kayak fishing? <laughs> uh, you... Yeah. Sorry, I've just asked Hannah to refresh me for any uh, any questions or anyone. So can um, first things first? Can everyone hear me? And can you see me? Okay. <gasps> There we go. Right, I've got a chat up just so I can see it on the screen. Oh, sorry. Loud and proud. Perfect. I am, first of all, I'm wearing my festive jumper. I feel like it's um, such a fantastic jumper. Should get more than an outing just Why the once. Why are you higher up than me? We're on both. It's because I'm taller, Hannah. I've been saying this for years. I'm taller. You're and she was like, no, no, you're not. We're on, exa up. we're on exactly the same chairs. And look. Look who's bigger. The small one, you? <laughs> Should we stand up? Yeah, but my legs are longer. What's that stand about? up and people will only be able to see us by our chest. Our well, oh, heads will be missing on the screen, won't they? Okay. Yeah, Can you do me a favour and try and find out how to get that live chat back up on there? Because I can't see it. And as soon as I touch everything, it all goes crazy. I don't know why it's not. I don't know, John. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, I do have a couple of questions that someone's written down. Um, we're doing this live now. I didn't want to do one just before Christmas because everyone's really busy with Christmas. I didn't want to do one on New Year's Eve because people have obviously got their plans for New Year's Eve. Uh, this was this was our... It's a bit of a weird time, isn't it, now between Christmas and New Year? Um, I never know what day it is anyway. I mean, I've, I've never had a job where it mattered. It, it, every, it really annoys me when people work on a Sunday, people don't go to work on a Sunday and I want to get stuff done and that happens. Um, so yeah, this weird period between Christmas and New Year when we don't really know what's going on, this is when we thought we would do it. Um, you made me want to catch Guilted Bream watching your show video. I watched that video the other day because it's um, just the first 10 minutes of it. For anybody who, who doesn't know what we're talking about, um, we're referring to a Guilted Bream video that I did earlier on in the year. And it's um, it's just pretty much what you would what you would imagine heaven to be like. It's just there isn't a soul around. It's a calm, fresh morning. You can hear the birds singing. The water's like a glass, and there's loads of fish. It was just um, you could almost you could just watch the video with the sound, just because it's just everything that we love about being out at that time of day. Um, yeah, I love that video too. Um, hello from Cannon Downs. Oh well. Got someone local, small world, didn't he, Beck? Um, I will ask uh, the casting it. I'll have to ask James. I think he's the superstar. I think um, pretty soon he's going to be in charge, and we're just going to be carrying carrying the camera gear. Um, could you recommend anywhere with high numbers of squid for catch and cook? And you just, what was he doing? Oh, Anders Anderson. Okay. Um, squid catch and cooks. Squid here in our area, you have to get a bit of calm weather to be able to get them right tight in shore. There's an area where we catch them on a reef, but it's it's offshore. Uh, the spots, Mevagissi Harbour, um, funnily enough, Port Levin Harbour of Adam, um, Penzance Key as well. Falmouth, if you're going to fish from around Falmouth area, uh, Prince of Wales Pier, some places like that fish really well. I've caught one on a Savage Gear Eel, just messing about down there. Um, otherwise, the larger they catch an awful lot of them around Weymouth. Uh, yeah, mate, the questions already are blasting through. Um, before I go into those, what I will do straight away, first of all, first and foremost, is I'm going to say thank you. I'm just going to say thank you to everybody who watches the channel. I um, I usually do like a, a Christmas message. And I thought I, when I opened up Facebook, it just got blasted with them. Everyone was doing them, and I just kind of thought. The good, good will and cheer is already out there. The man will just get lost in the crowd. Um, I wanted to say uh, thank you very much to everyone who likes the videos, who shares the videos, who comments and interacts. Um, there are quite a few people now, and I've, I've tried to encourage this, is when you're reading through the comments, if you have something insightful to add, you notice how I mentioned that, if you've got something insightful to add, if you've got something... If somebody is asking about a specific situation that you have some knowledge of, if you if someone's asking a very simple question, don't jump in and shoot them down or 
you all see them on Facebook, don't you? You'll get people who are learning and they'll, they'll comment on a, on a group or a site and immediately they'll just come in and get absolutely hounded. That's not what we're here for. And what I love is that some people now, I'll see them go through and they'll have commented on six or seven different questions because what that does is it frees my time up to be able to make more videos. One of the big thank yous that I'm going to say is um, Chris Davidson, I have absolutely no idea, mate. Um, I'm amazed that we've got this far. It's just purely us sharing what we know and love doing. Um, who knows? The biggest thank you that I'm going to give is to everyone who has donated to the channel. Oh, that's going to be to me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little speech prepared now. I'm joking. <laughs> Everybody who has donated to the channel, whether through super stickers, super chats, um, contribution. Some people have just made contributions, like one-off contributions, like they've said. Two or three of it, Richard Kinzer donated some money and I bought uh, some v notching clippers. Uh, another couple of guys who wish to be anonymous have, um, thank you very much, mate. Um, for anybody who doesn't know what we're talking about, that what Castanet Fishing has just done, that is a donation. Uh, what it does is it pings up your comment so it, it comes out, so it jumps out at me. And also the money there will come through to us and I can use it for things like fuel on the boat, which is exactly what I was just going to say, is we've had a couple of anonymous donations, people that wanted to be anonymous and have said, look, we love your videos, put this money to good use. And one of them, I bought um, the lobster. Uh, I went to the market and I went and saw my mate down at uh, Falcatch and the, it was a donation to the channel that bought that lobster that donated it to the hatchery. So it was a donation like that that made that possible. We've had other ones before where someone's contacted me and they've just said, look, uh, is there any way that you, that you want to try, but it's a bit expensive? And I said, yeah, well, there's a mark that I've always wanted to fish, but it's going to take like two and a half cans of fuel to get there. And I just can't justify the cost myself. And uh, he just said, all right, well, I'll pay for that. So uh, you'll see on the back of the video, Tony so far, Touchwood, is doing great. Um, unfortunately, now I think they're just stepping us up into a higher tier. So we aren't going to be able to get a chance to go up and see him anytime soon. But hopefully that'll change. Um, the guy who donated to the channel um, and we ended up getting lobster. That was amazing. Uh, the two or three trips where we've been to and we've just... The person has purchased fuel for the boat. I will mention them at the end of the video if they've asked to be. So like one of these videos, I'll just say, like, thank you very much, Terry. It was you. This video is for you. That is... That is one of the ways that people contribute. But the standard way is, um, <laughs> and the American guys always kind of laugh at me for this, is uh, Patreon, Patron. I call it Patron, but they said, oh, it's a tequila. And I was like, well, depending on what you want to contribute, okay. Um, the contributors, the patrons of the channel, they really, they fund things behind the scenes. So everybody, Nath, thank you very much. That, that's very kind of you, thank you. Um, they fund all this. If we didn't have people like that, I wouldn't be able to take so much time out of my day, out of my working day, to be able to make the videos. Ben Morgan, good luck in the new year. We love your channel. Me and the missus got us out and about foraging. That's amazing, Ben. I, I'm, I'm made up that both you and your missus are enjoying it. That's fantastic. Um, one thing that I will, I will, I'll make a note right now of saying, um, like when I said, please... Think there are certain things that help the channel and help a video. One of them is likes. Likes, comments. We have 454 people watching and we have 100 likes. If you're watching and you're listening now, just tick that like button and you'll watch it go up and I'll know whether or not you're paying attention to me. Yeah, who's got us on mute? <laughs> who's watching the subtitles? That's the funniest thing. <laughs> yeah. if, you're, if you ever want a bit of a laugh, just watch the subtitles. <laughs> They could add it into Cards Against Humanity, some of them, couldn't they? Oh, we had it. I don't know if any of you have played that game before. It's not for everyone. Cards Against Humanity, it is very funny if you get the right crowd. Sorry, I'm just Did trying to see this, pin through. These two. Dave Hamish, 720. Amazing, mate. Thank you very much There's for that. That's very kind. Well. I'm just flicking through because that many questions come up real quick. This is um, what we might have to do next time is there is something on the chat and I can put it up on slow mode so that it takes a while to pen through. But what it means is that people can't comment as quickly as, as they want. So I've, I've tried to stay away from it, but if it gets a little bit too much, the next one, we might have to do that because Hannah's um, having trouble keeping up sometimes. Charlie Gordon, 
Not the quickest. Just bought one of your merch. Which merch did you buy? Was it a, was it a t-shirt? Was it a hoodie? Was it... For anybody questioning about the merch, um, in the videos you'll see me wearing some of it. You'll see Hannah and James wearing it. Uh, we have a T-Mill store where um, we have... I opened it up and I said to everyone, I said, if you, if you have any designs that you want to see on t-shirts or anything like that, let me know. And I contacted them and I, me and Hannah sat down and we drew some out. We have some designs on some shirts, some special ones for us, like there's a John Dory one, because it was a momentous moment for me. And uh, we have one about Pinchy Thanos, because that was another big video for us. Um, we have ever so many. One with some tuna on. Mm, Castanet, explain what you mean there. Are you going to become a Patreon on 2021? We already have. One. We already have a Patreon. Sorry. The um, the link to the Patreon is in the description of every video. Sorry, I'm. I'm... Stop reading them. I'm writing. Well, them. no, I'm trying to get to the. <laughs> Colin Erickson, thank you very much, mate. Have you have you got any type of question you would like asking or answering or anything? Or if not, just thank you. That's brilliant. Um, I will get to this last one. <laughs> yeah, Tom. Uh, fishing Tom. I imagine you have the same problem as me. That's... Um, if you understand what I'm saying, watch the subtitles because they are absolute gibberish. I mean, it, absolute gibberish. I don't know. It must be an auto-generated with American English rather than English English. We've had this a couple of times, like when we went to the States and we've been talking to folks and they've been like, mm, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I was like, do you speak English? I was like, hey, look, love, I am English. This is what English sounds Someone like. Someone asked me in America if I spoke English because I asked to go to the toilet and they don't call it that, do they? Mm. Jess Barnes. Hiding under an ironic name like that won't hide you from me, mate. I love this jumper. I love it so much that I'm I'm going to start wearing it just for the crack. Someone asked if I knitted it for you. Definitely not. Yeah. Hannah's, Hannah can't knit. She doesn't do any of the knitting or sewing in this house. Either. I can use a stapler. Yeah. She staples like a bad guy. Uh, but yeah, I do all the sewing and things like that. Dude Outdoors, thank you so much for all your advice to a newcomer to Cornwall. All the best for it. Thank you very much, mate. Um, yeah, anytime, anytime, just reach out. There are a lot of the older videos are, I'm going to say, more aimed at the absolute beginner. Because as we started out, that's what more people were asking for. When I, when I asked people what videos do you want, they were like, I want the earliest, or uh, like the... <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, oh right sorry no we're looking at something else i've got a really itchy nose for some reason is someone talking about me oh no it's, that's it is someone must be smelling it's about not me. a question because i'm going to finish this right. one what was i just talking about i don't know okay uh david rains can you do uh, a video on freshwater rigs and how you um okay yeah yeah i've covered this a couple of times in videos and uh, just in chats we have a lot of people coming over from freshwater to saltwater um, there is, if you already have a base knowledge in coarse fishing, you will get on with sea fishing. Um, all that sea fishing really is, it's a lot coarser. Um, it's a lot number. Um, less finesse is required for sea fishing, really. If you've got the finesse of coarse angling, where you're tying like one pound line onto a size 24 that's baiting up with a single maggot, you can do, you can do sea fishing. Um, Sea anglers moving over the course, they generally have a little bit more trouble. Um, there will be a lot of rigs that you use. Any type of float rig, course, will, will work for sea. Um, running ledger rigs, bolt rigs, that's your, that's your standard. That is your absolute bare basics. Um, uh, I want, uh, there must be some question that's relating to that, or is Kyle just giving us his, his stats for fun? <laughs> If anybody knows what Kyle's on about there, let me know. He's just saying... It's only five foot one. Hmm? Oh. He said five foot one one. So does that mean... Oh, there was a 